So I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who are pretty curious about what it's like to be rejected from the Austin Film Festival's screenplay competition. A lot of uh, potential filmmakers out there. But the problem is, you don't want to take the time and effort to get rejected. So, you're welcome. Because what I did was I went ahead and got rejected for you. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. And of course, before I begin, I just wanted to say I, by making this video, I in no way mean to bash the Austin Film Festival. I actually had a really good experience applying, even though it was short-lived. Um, I had a good experience with them. They were very kind, very professional, all that stuff. Very trustworthy. It's it's a good start if you want to try and begin your filmmaking journey. And, you know, of course, the last thing I'd want to do is upset the Lone Ranger State, so... Pro tip, if you have trouble reading letters on your computer, go ahead and put in your contacts and then your glasses. It's the same thing as using two condoms. Double the protection. Okay, let's try and get some sponsorship money. All right, and here goes the letter. Dear Jason Aket, thank you for entering the second part, my screenplay, into the 2019 Austin Film Festival. No, that's not professional. Dear Jason Arquette, thank you for entering the second part into the 2019 Austin Film Festival Screenplay Competition. Out of 11,900 submissions across all categories, the scripts submitted this year included a diverse array of captivating stories that showcase some of the highest caliber of writing that we have ever seen. It was incredibly challenging to determine which scripts would progress to the second round. So far, so good. Unfortunately, Your script did not advance in the short screenplay category this year. Okay. Please know how much we at the Austin Film Festival respect your writing process. It is an incredible feat to start with a blank page and create a world populated with characters and stories that have never been seen. We know it takes a tremendous amount of courage to share your work and offer our assurance that each script was given careful consideration, evaluated in its entirety, and reviewed at least twice by different readers. So I was rejected by multiple people. However, art in itself is subjective, and judging art at this level is an equally subjective and complicated process. Sounds like a scapegoat of a sentence. Do not let this discourage you. Your writing talent and the measure of your script success is not determined solely by the outcome of one writing competition. This is an industry that demands persistence, and a screenplay is just a start of seeing your words made into reality. Austin Film Festival is only one stop in your journey as a writer toward the final destination. You are the creator and custodian of your work. So, what? So if writing is your passion, please continue to pursue it and share it. A brief overall summary of our readers' initial thoughts and comments on your work will be provided via email by early December. Austin Film Festival and I wish you all the best in your future endeavors and we hope we can continue to be a resource for you in the future. Sincerely, Stephen DeBose. Director of Script Competitions, Austin Film Festival. Well, they let me down as easy as they could. Um, actually, it was it was actually it was actually a pretty nice letter, um, and it's it's yeah it's generic, and it sounds like all the other rejection letters that I've received basically. Um, but if you watched, well, if we, if you were one of the two people that watched my first video on rejection from screenplay competitions and film festivals, um, you know that I pretty much saw this coming. Yeah, but obviously. The rejection still sinks. Um, I, if, if you were a kid, right, and you went to go ask out this person, and you were pretty sure they were gonna say no, you what did you do? You tried to protect yourself. You just said to yourself, "Hey, I'm probably gonna get rejected anyway. It's no big deal." But um, if I can speak for you and all the people who've done this, there's always a small small part in your brain that says, "Maybe," you know, like what if, and. That's the part of my brain that, I mean, if, if I'm being honest, it did, I always had just like the slightest hope that I was gonna just at least move on to the second round of this competition. I know it's cutthroat and you know, this what, 11,000 people submitted and I was in the short screenplay category, which I thought was gonna give me a bit of an advantage. I figured most people would be in, you know, the major categories, um, but obviously it just didn't work out for me. I've been trying to kill that part of my brain that just says, what if that hopeful part, like, you know, 
drugs, alcohol, whatever I had access to, but it's just, it's always gonna be there. And I think that's okay. If you're gonna be in this industry and if you're gonna at least try to get your work out there, I, I think we all need a bit of a tougher skin and we all need to prepare ourselves for the you know inevitable rejection to come. But here's a really cool thing about this rejection from the Austin Film Festival. Um, this is the first time that someone has said they're going to send me notes back, which is actually really exciting because I've never, I've looked at it, my screenplay since I've submitted it, I've looked at it again maybe once or twice, and it's, it's so hard to read because I just, I cringe a little bit, you know, as personal of a story as it was, and I'm proud of it because it was my first screenplay. I know that it wasn't, I, I, I understand why I was rejected, right? It wasn't nearly as good as it could have been. Um, and I think there were a lot of issues with it. Of course, you're gonna be your harshest critic most of the time, but I really, I understand that it just wasn't probably at the level that other people's were at. Um, but like I said, I'm getting feedback and that's cool. That's really fucking cool. Because if you've done this before, you know that a lot of times, or at least the, the bad ones, the screenplay competitions or film festivals that are just out there to get your money, those ones will say, for an extra charge, you can get our judges' notes. And I never went for it because it, I just, first of all, you know, competition itself was already like 60 bucks. And I was like, I don't want to spend another 40 to just get notes that I don't think will be helpful. Because I think at that point, if you're going to pay for the notes, it's an indicator that it probably, well, oh, what is wrong with me today? It's an indicator that I should have picked up on which is that this competition or festival is just out to get your money. Um, I have asked for notes before, like once I've received a rejection letter that wasn't just like a mass email to all the rejectees. Um, it was the, the Sidewalk Film Festival. I was just not trying to throw them under the bus either. Um, but I asked for some notes. Just I emailed the person back because it seemed like, like an actual person, right? Not just some sort of listserv. And I said, hey, is there any way, this is me typing, is there any way I can get some notes on from the judges and they I said no they were very polite and they said we can't do that that was a paid server something like that totally understandable but the main point is that I'm getting notes back and that's fucking cool because you it's so hard sometimes to know what other well obviously you don't know what other people are thinking when you read your work you only know what you're thinking you can do your best to predict right but ultimately you don't know how other people are going to interpret it you're they're going to see it in a way that you probably never even thought was possible with work that you wrote, right? And I'm not saying you should cater to other people and how they would react because I do think the best work comes from when you write for yourself, right? If you write a story that you think is gonna be fucking interesting, it's gonna be fucking great, a lot of times that'll translate out to society. We're different in a lot of ways, but we're similar in even more ways, right? So it's gonna resonate with people if you just try and be true to yourself. Um, and that's what I thought I was doing, but I guess I was wrong in my case, but don't, don't let that discourage you. Um, but the point is, what was I trying to say? The fact that I'm receiving uh, feedback at all, it's great. It's coming, I think they said in December. I have no idea what the feedback is gonna look like, not in terms of like what they're gonna say. Um, I, th I think I have a few ideas of what they're gonna say. More like, they said it, there's a couple of judges who did it and then they're just, um, they're, you know, combining it into one massive, review so I'm, I'm curious it sounds like they're cutting stuff out which i guess i'll find out when i get it in december and of course i'm going to share the feedback with you guys um but I'm, I'm curious if they cut it out and like if they did cut it out why that sounds like more effort um because it is a little bit weird i think like i said I'm, this was my first uh screenplay that I ever wrote this is the first time i ever submitted it so i wonder if it's normal if you get notes or feedback at all to have this kind of waiting period between the time you get your rejection and the time you get the feedback. Because to me, it would make sense to send it all at once. I don't know why there would be a delay. So maybe they are cutting stuff out, which again, begs the question why. It sounds like a lot of extra work. So overall, um, no, I, I guess I hesitate to call it an experience, but I did have a good you know, experience with the Austin Film Festival. They were very courteous and I know it was a mass email, but um, well, I guess I can't really call them Cardi's because I didn't really have any interaction with them. But they were professional. They got the information out to me when they said they would. Um, and I guess we're just going to have to wait to see what the feedback is like. But 
of all the competitions and film fests that I entered, this was the one I was most excited for. Obviously, it's one of the biggest uh, film fests in America, so I thought it would be a great place to submit my work. Again, obviously, because of that, the competition is a lot higher and it's easier to find yourself with the email that I got. But overall, there you have it. That's what it's like to be rejected from the Austin Film Festival. If you're still curious and want to try it, you know, firsthand, let me know. I have a screenplay that's guaranteed to get you rejected from the screenplay competition. But like I said, I, I have a blast doing this. I want to become a screenwriter some way, somehow. And this obviously isn't going to stop me from continuing to pursue my dream in filmmaking. But it, it certainly isn't the boost that I thought it would be. Uh, so go ahead and check out my first video if you haven't already on rejection from screenplay competitions. There's a lot more detail about that stuff than what I went to, what I went into in this video. Um, until then, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing and I hope you guys do too.